Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the nutrition. Ever heard the famous expression, you are what you eat? Well, as a matter of fact, you are really what you eat, in some ways literally. The food we eat determines which nutrients your body will receive and in what quantities. We've always heard of them from our parents and everybody else. But what really are nutrients? Nutrients are substances that allow your body to make energy, like the ones we use for running or even just moving. It also helps build and maintain tissues and regulate bodily processes. Vitamins and minerals help our bodies to function and grow tall. Some say it's just characteristics inherited from their parents, but actually your food also contributes something greatly with it. Just a simple tip learner, if you eat a healthy diet filled with a variety of high nutrient foods, you are more likely to enjoy most of your life. Now let's talk about the food groups. There are 5 main food groups that you should eat every day. The grains which include breads, cereal, pasta, rice. Next is the dairy or the milk, cheese, yogurt. Then the fruits like apples, oranges, berries, grapes, bananas, and then vegetables like cabbage, cucumber, carrots. And lastly, some protein like beef, chicken, pork, eggs, nuts, fish. These food groups actually contain some major nutrients in each of them. Fun fact learners, did you know that some foods are supposed to make you smarter? Some of these foods are red cabbage, egg yolks, tomatoes, berries, and walnuts. Now let's talk about the classifications of nutrients. There are six classifications of nutrients. These are the carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. They seem familiar, right? So let's talk about what they are. Three of six classes belong to the macronutrients because we need them in large quantities. These are carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Mostly, they provide our body with energy, which is measured in calories. Carbohydrates are for quick energy because if we digest them, we are provided with immediate energy. Well, there's actually a lot of types of carbohydrates, and they come from different food sources. For example, when you eat a cookie, you are taking in some sugars, but not the sugar you put in your coffee. These are the simple carbs. On the other hand, when you eat some spaghetti or donut, you are consuming a lot of starches, which are complex carbs made up of many sugars. But let me tell you, these types of carbs or sugars can be stored in your body if not consumed. They come in the form of fats. Don't worry, there's an alternative to those carbs. Eat some fruits and veggies which contain another type of carbohydrate that cannot be digested called the fiber. You cannot get energy from fiber, yet fiber is great for moving foods through your digestive tract, so you'll want a lot of it. Next are the lipids or the fats. You can think of them as energy-dense nutrients that are important when you need some endurance. Some types of fats are the saturated fats or solid ones like butter, and then the unsaturated fats like vegetable oils are in liquid form. Proteins are so important for growth, development, and repair. We also use them as a last resort source of energy. We get proteins in meats and beans, and when we digest them, we actually break these protein-containing foods down into amino acids and then convert them to a usable protein to our body. In some ways, there is another macronutrient. We have the water. Macro since we need them a lot every day for hydration and cleaning up inside our body. Vitamins and minerals come in many different forms. Vitamins are named after the alphabet letters like vitamin A which is good for the sight, vitamin B that helps with blood flow, and so on. Minerals are some substances found naturally in earth. A lot of them are in our food like the calcium that is good for bones, and there's iodine for blood and repair. 
Here is an example of how we balance the portion of food we eat every day. As you can see, each of the five food groups is drawn on the plate. Notice that the vegetables and grains portions are slightly larger than the fruit and protein portions. So learners, if you want a fit body, try working out more and eat less junk foods. We've learned a lot about nutrition today. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.